Hello everyone. Um, I said last time I did a video when I had my the day that I had my first infusion, which was the twenty seventh of March. I said that I was going to do another video around the tenth because that was meant to be when my second infusion was. Um, I obviously, uh, well, I, I couldn't do it on the tenth because I didn't have my infusion due to a bladder infection, which is a known side effect of uh, a well known possible side effect of having the octopus slash oculizumab whatever you want to call it um, infusion so yeah I ended up having uh, my infusion yesterday instead um, which was a, a week late but it didn't it, it didn't matter much um, and to be fair the second one was if anything easier than the first one they were both they, they, there was no problem with it whatsoever I didn't have any side effects I didn't have any the only thing that I would say is I got bored that's it I got bored and uh, I use like a I don't know whether you want to call it a vape or electronic cigarette but I, I, I use a vape and uh, all I was doing was five hours in sitting there going I could really use a vape right now you know um, <laughs> um, yeah that was that was that was basically it to be honest um, the the with the the bladder infection, it wasn't great. I've never had one before. Um, well, I drink between a litre and a half and two litres of water every day for the last 11 years. I don't know why. I've got a slight addiction to bottled water. I don't know. It's quite strange, but um, it always keeps me hydrated, but also means I don't get bladder infections. It doesn't happen. So when I got this one, I was a bit surprised by it, to say the least. But um, yeah, it, it, was, it was absolutely fine, all of it went as smooth as silk hopefully uh, that, that bladder infection was only on the first one but if I get it again or another infection of any description then uh, you know what I'll just go on antibiotics again won't I so it's not it's not a big deal um yeah the only thing the only the only other thing I would say is today I've got as you can probably see I've got like kind of ready red I look kind of flushed and I am quite warm. My face is quite warm and has been since I got up this morning. It was quite weird. Um, I woke up with a very minor headache. It wasn't worth talking about. Two ibuprofen later and there was nothing there. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was absolutely fine. Um, yeah, and, and physically today I feel a little bit better. The same as I did last time. 27th of, of March I woke up on the 28th of March feeling the best I had done in months and today I woke up after my second half dose and uh, I feel good I feel I feel pretty happy very clear mentally physically a little bit better you know um, I, I, have, I haven't had any fatigue whatsoever so far today um, yeah, it's the the things that I'm getting, like I said, like my face feeling a bit flushed and stuff, that's kind of it that I have experienced. Now, I do understand there's a lot of people out there that have had more and significantly worse side effects. I do understand that completely. Medication takes to each individual differently. Um, and I, I have been lucky, my, but I've always found, <coughs> sorry, that my uh, my body deals quite well with medications. I, I've always found that. So yeah, it's it's all, it's all good, you know. But like I said, everyone, well, you could have a totally different experience if and when you start on the treatment. You could have a totally different experience. You could end up feeling not very good. You could end up feeling the same as me. You could have some side effects that aren't really a big deal. You could have more major side effects, but even still, the major ones don't tend to be that bad there is the, the certain occasion um, where uh, people have had to go into uh, hospital get a, 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 um, I don't know I don't know what it is but they have certain like uh, anaphylactic shock or something to, to the treatment but that that's fairly rare as well but um, yeah it's a, it's a it's a good treatment it seems to be doing me quite well so far I've still got to wait to see if I'm if I'm still relapsing or anything I don't know but since my first dose, I really, really, really don't think I've relapsed because I've been continuously, uh, I've been continuously better since having my first half dose, and now I've had my second half dose. So my next, my next, uh, my next infusion is on September the eleventh, which is 
What a day to have another infusion. <laughs> September the 11th. I don't think that's, a, that's, a, that's not a good day in anyone's book. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter where, the, where you come from in the world. September the 11th has got kind of a bit of a stigma attached to it, doesn't it? But um, yeah, and that was my first uh, full dose of it. But I'm pretty damn happy so far. Um, you do feel, you do, I do, well, I do feel a, a, a bit better in general. So, yeah, guys. And, and the thing is, we've also got the um, MS Awareness Week coming up. And there's a lot of uh, interviews and stuff going on with that. Um, uh, I'm doing a survey. Um, I'm, getting a con I'm getting contacted to do a survey. Um, I did get contacted to do a uh, TV interview as well. Um, but at the same point, I don't know what's happened with that because it that, that apparently the, the, the TV show or TV channel or whatever um, have changed what they wanted to do originally. So now they're not needing people to do the interview. I don't quite understand, but it's fine. I'll do anything, to be honest with you. I'll do anything. I want to get, I want to get people more aware of MS. I want people to be more comfortable within ha having MS. Um, it is what it is. You've got no way around it. So you can have like a, a good mindset or you can have a negative mindset. Now, obviously, when you first get diagnosed, you're going to have a negative. I um, mean, I was. If you look at my first videos, I was pretty damn de down. I wasn't happy. I was, I was I was quite depressed back for the first sort of, I don't know, five, six months. I was in, I wasn't, I don't know, like mentally I wasn't good, but now I just think just, <laughs> it, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. No matter how much I want rid of it, it's not going to go anywhere no matter how much I want it. So I might as well just get on with it, embrace it, and then, I don't know, try and give um, positive vibes vibes to people, I, whether they're newly diagnosed or not. I'd rather just, I don't know, try and get people's mindset better in any way that I can. Because it's uh, it, it does suck. It does suck. MS, it's not a nice, it's, it's a disease, it's not a nice one. Then again, what is a nice disease? But you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but you need to try to keep your mind up anyway. And that's what I'm going to try and do bit by bit. I'm actually going to start doing more videos on on that. I'm actually going to start doing more videos of, uh, not so much as a diary entry for myself, more of a, I don't even know how I could explain it, to be honest with you. More just trying to talk about, mentally how to look at things how to appreciate the little things in life how to take something that's a negative and turn it into a positive because there is so many ways you can do that there is so many ways you can actually do that because everyday life you have your negatives you have your, your the things that, that that aren't good and you can actually take that thing that's not good and look at certain little individual things within it and actually turn it into a positive um, and that's literally what I do with everything. Even if something really, really, really sucks, I think, yeah, but okay, I don't want to do that. But one minute, if I do do that, something good can come out at the end. Or, you know, them sort of things. Yeah, so I'm going to start doing a couple of little videos like that every so often as well, to be honest with you. I'd like to be able to help people. Because I needed help, and to be totally fair... When I was looking online, when I needed help, when I was first diagnosed, I didn't see a great deal in the way of that, you know, trying to talk to people, anyone trying to assist with people's mentality. I mean, obviously, there are a lot of helplines and people that you can talk to, um, and they do they do pretty amazing work, you know, but when I was looking for, uh, I don't know, a bit of reassurance and, and uh, information on treatments and everything on YouTube and stuff, there wasn't really anything. Now, I can only give information on, on treatments that I've had. I can't give, uh, I've never had Lemtrada, so I can't possibly talk about Lemtrada. Um, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of, uh, like I said in one of my first videos, there wasn't much to answer the questions that I had um, about MS and I would like to be able to touch on that if there's anyone's got any questions by all means you can type a comment in and I will be happy to answer it um, I'm going to do a live stream at some point so yeah it's it's all good okay uh, thank you very much guys and I will see you later I'm sure bye <laughs>